to part two. Okay, so in this uh, in this uh, video, what we're gonna do? We're going to basically slice the images we have on the eCover. So if you haven't watched the eCover course yet, then go and watch the eCover videos. If you already watch it and you know how to slice it, then skip this part and go to the next video. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just slice uh, the images we need to use on the next step where we're gonna create the the tangible cover or the physical product right so to do this in photoshop all we need to do is go here grab the slicer tool which is this tool here okay and as you can see my is already selected because i already done this okay it's part it's like i said it's on the e-cover creator video course but basically all you need to do is simple use the slicer and draw a square around the, what you want so in this case, so if I just uh, put this here back to the beginning, I'll just do squares around the images that I want. Okay, basically I want all the images to design the cover uh, for for the for the real product. Once I do all the slicing, so I'm gonna go a step back here. Uh, once I do all the slicing, all I need to do is save these files. Uh, in the high grade so the cover comes out looking nice okay so after the slicing so what we do we go to file we go to save for the web and devices we click there okay and this gives us a preview and we can actually preview on the web but before you probably appear you need to change this to jpeg i okay you want a really high quality image because you know you're going to use this in a real cover, so you want the product to look good, right? So once you did that, you can actually preview on the web, you click on the globe there, and that shows you how it looks like on the web, okay? So it looks pretty good to me. So close that, go back to Photoshop, and now I'm just going to click done, okay? Or save. Right, you can see I already go one there, so I'm going to do is just click save and basically overwrite all of them. Yes, replace. And there it goes. So it's now images is now slice for me to use on the real cover. So all I need to do now is just go here to this folder. The slices only, because I created a folder just for the slices. All this is explained on how to create e covers, okay? Now here is the images. They all sliced as you can see. So I can now use that on the next video where we're gonna be creating the cover. Now, as you can see, they go white backgrounds, but, you know, since the cover is white, it really doesn't matter. But again, we can take this back to Photoshop and remove the white backgrounds very easily. You know, you just basically open, right click, open with Photoshop. Right, once you get the image here, you get a magic wonder tool. You click on that, take the padlock from there. Okay, I actually did a video before how to take backgrounds, and there it goes. Now we have an image with a clear background. But this is if, you know, the cover is blue or, or other color other than white. If it's white, you can just use the white backgrounds. So let's move on to the next video and build uh, our tangible product.